Hi, this is Jodie from Peony Patterns and I'm using DMC 3607 and I'm using a straw needle and I'm using three strands. I'll be stitching the petite pattern from our ambrosia file today. Your needle up through the back of the fabric, through the center of the rose. You'll be scooping up a small amount of fabric just directly under where you've come through. Just ensuring that the needle comes out just through the same hole you originally came through. Take the working thread, drape it over your pointer finger, roll it towards your body and drop the loop onto the needle. Make enough loops to cover the scoop of fabric that you've just picked up with the needle. The more loops you make, the more crinkled the edges will be, which will have a more petal-like effect. So now that I have enough, I will pull my needle through while gently holding onto the loops I've made. So take your needle back through right where you came up previously. The objective of this design is to cast on in a pinwheel design. Bring the needle back up on the left hand side towards the bottom of the last stitch. Once again, you'll be scooping up a small amount of fabric to cast your loops onto. Remembering to stitch in a pinwheel design, pick up your next stitch. Sometimes you will need to hold your other stitches out of the way just so you can get extra close to the last stitch.
the further you get towards the outer of the circle, the longer your stitches will be, which means the more loops you will need to put onto your needle. Sometimes you will notice that your circle may not be completely symmetrical so you may need to add an extra stitch somewhere. Once you've finished your last stitch, take your needle back through to the other side of the fabric and tie off. And that's how you complete your cast on stitch. Thank you for watching.